So while we gain our audience on Facebook Live, I just want to make a quick announcement that um, uh, before we continue our regular partial learning here at Congregation Beth Yeshua, and we're going to say a short of our Torah, but just as a quick reminder, this Sunday, as we know, is the first day of Hanukkah, but it also coincides with the 25th of December, and what is there to do on the 25th of December other than eat Chinese food? That's right. At the Torch Center. <laughs> right, so we have we have Chinese uh, a Chinese buffet and uh, and Torah learning at the Torch Center this Sunday uh, at 10 a.m. We open the door for registration. We'll have uh, sufganiyot and coffee, and then 10:30 the program begins. Okay, so now in this week's parsha we have the following. So we have uh, Yaakov. Uh, Yaakov is 17 years old, and he is uh, he is the shepherd. For his father's uh, for his father's cattle, uh, together with his brothers, and Yaakov tells his father about his brother's uh, wrongdoings, and it says, "Vi Yisrael Ahavet Yosef," and his father, Yaakov, Joseph, sorry, Joseph, Joseph tells his the, his father Jacob about the wrongdoings, and it says as follows, "Vi Yisrael Ahavet Yosef Mikol Banav," and and Israel, Jacob, loved. Joseph more than his other sons, Kibenz Kunimhu, because he's his youngest child, the Asiloktonet Pasim, and he gave him a um, a, uh, a a striped garment. Vayiru Achav Kioto Achav Avihem, and his brothers saw that his father liked loved him, Mikol Achav more than his other brothers. Vayisnu Oto, Velo Yochlu Dabro Shalom, and they hated him. And they could not speak, they couldn't be at peace with him. And then Joseph tells them, you know, he has a dream and he tells his, tells his brothers and they add to the hatred. <laughs> it's like they keep on, just when you think that he couldn't get into worse standing with his brothers, he digs into them a little bit more and a little bit more. It's like, why does he keep on digging? Like, just let go already. And he tells them again. He says, "Vayomer alehem shimu no achalom azesh achalamti." Here, listen. He listened to this dream that I've dreamt, right? Vayomer anachnu malmi malumimi. He tells them all the different examples of you know we have these different bundles and all the bundles bow down to one bundle, referring to himself being bowed down by eleven other uh, 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 bundles. It just that the whole thing doesn't doesn't make sense. He says, "Say, well, you want to become a leader over us?" Vayachalam od chalom, and he has another dream. Vayisapel olachov, and he tells his brothers again. So you think to yourself. This thing doesn't make sense, right? What is going on? First is the favoritism of Jacob having to Joseph. Then you see the brothers hating, and then he digs in more in that hatred by, by you know, you know, prodding them with these dreams that he has. Okay, and then it says that they have jealousy of the brother. Okay, and the father held this close to his to his uh, vest. So I want to offer an idea that I heard from my dear friend, the chief rabbi of Austin, Rabbi Moshe Trepp. He said it in the name of Rabbi Kamenetsky. He says, "What's what was what was unique about Yosef? What was unique about Yosef was that Yosef learned in a place called Shem Ve'ever. It was a special yeshiva. Who else learned in this yeshiva?" Abraham learned there, Isaac learned there, Jacob learned there, right? They all learned there. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob all learned there. Now, what, did they, what was the special quality that they attained in this yeshiva? So Abraham attained the quality of fighting against the world, being strong to stand up against the world. The world was filled with idolatry, and he's going to have to stand up. He's going to have to be, be firm in his, in his convictions, Isaac had to fight against, uh, against Ishmael. He's going to have the forces of Ishmael in the world, and he's going to have to stand up firm against And that's the, the power that the Torah gives you, is that it doesn't only teach you to become a good person, it teaches you to stay away from the bad. Right? It teaches you to strengthen yourself so that you can overcome the other challenges. Then you have Jacob. Jacob has to fight against Asaph, the powers of Asaph. And then who else learned there? Joseph. Joseph Hatzadik is his name, right? He got the title Joseph Hatzadik. Why? Because it was foreseen that he's going to have these incredible challenges in Egypt. 
And all of what he was repeating in these dreams, and all of what his father was doing with giving him this special tunic, right, was trying to get the brothers to become jealous of his scholarly wisdom and his knowledge and his ability to stand strong against a, 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 a decadent world. And they took it the wrong way. <coughs> so he wanted to show them, look, you need to go learn as well. So the real question goes over here, and you see that they got jealous. Is there a good jealousy? Or is every jealousy a bad jealousy? So the Mishnah tells us, Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky explains this. The Mishnah tells us that Kinat sofrim tar There is a type of jealousy which is a good jealousy. And that's a jealousy of someone's good acts. That's a jealousy of the righteous. Someone who's righteous, that someone else is more spiritual, what are they going to do? They'll hopefully become more spiritual. They say, you know what, he goes to learn yeshiva, I'll go learn yeshiva as well. They go to a Torah class, I'll go to a Torah class. They're giving charity, I'll give charity. They see they're doing good things, they want to mimic the good things. And that's an encouraged jealousy that the Torah teaches us. There is a jealousy which is a good jealousy. Be jealous to follow their good ways. But then there's a jealousy which becomes a personal jealousy. I can't stand that they have more than me. I can't stand that they're more learned than me. I can't stand, and that's a negative jealousy which doesn't, doesn't elevate you. So, the, what the brothers, in a way, exercised here was a jealousy because they thought he just wants to be a leader over them. They didn't understand that his wisdom, that his knowledge, that he went to this, learn in this place of Torah was in order to give him the strength that his father already foresaw he's going to need to overcome the challenges down in Egypt. It wasn't to be over them. He's not trying to be a ruler over them. Yeah, I'm going to control you. I'm going to be a leader. That's not the point. The point is, is that he is going to need these tools for other challenges. And he's sharing with them, trying to say, come, you're going to also face challenges. Come learn as well in the yeshiva. And the father tried to encourage that by giving him something special. He would give them the same special treatment. Just go learn in that yeshiva. Go gain those, 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 those uh, skills and talents that your brother gained. So I think that whenever we see things around us, we have to be very, very careful to ensure that, that if we're jealous, it's, it's not a good thing to be jealous as a general rule, but if we are jealous, use it to inspire yourself. Say, you know what? What can I do to be, okay, I'm jealous of someone else, but to help me become a better person because of it. To enhance my spiritual growth. To enhance my my um, my spirituality, my enhance my relationship with God. And that's what we need to take out of this. We need to take out of this how Joseph, again, later called Yosef HaTzadik, because he was able to not only use those tools, uh, to learn those tools, but to use them later on when he was facing all those challenges. And we see that all of these temptations that befell him in Egypt, he didn't fall to any of them. He still stayed. This is the same Joseph, that's what we say later on. This is the same Joseph who was by his father. Meaning when he was close to his father and he was learning in the yeshiva and he was all inspired, oh, he was a great kid then, but how's he going to deal out in the field? This is the same Joseph. He kept, he kept it together. Hashem should bless us all that we should, we should always have the, uh, the, ar the armor needed to overcome our challenges and to use them effectively to become the best possible servants of God that we can. Thank you all very, very much. And everyone here on Facebook, you're welcome to join us every single Thursday here at Congregation Beth Yishurin at 9.30. We have a phenomenal group uh, here learning uh, Chumash every week, discussing it uh, and hopefully growing from it. Join us. Have a fantastic day and good Shabbos.